Hi everyone, it's Rhonda here from Flowers and More by Rhonda. Here again with you this year for the Christmas on a Dime YouTube Hop 2016, hosted by the lovely and sweet Dee Armstead. Uh, first, I want to thank her for allowing me to participate again this year. And um, <clears throat> I just want to share a couple projects with you that are quick and easy to do with stuff that you already may have on hand or just stuff you have in the home. Um, Christmas ornaments. Now, who doesn't love Christmas ornaments, right? They are great little gifts to give. It's a fun little project to do with the kids, and I'm all about doing crafts with the kids. Okay, so first thing I want to share with you is, well, first of all, um, let me show you. I had did this last week um, or the week before. It was a project that I had to do. And I loved it so much, and I thought, you know, there's so many options to this little project, and I knew that I wanted to share it with everyone for the hop because of the different ideas that I thought of. Uh, but here is a fun little ornament. I used a three-inch star foam ball, and a lot of folks may have already seen that I had did this, but again, I thought of other ideas and other ways to use it, so I knew that I wanted to be, this would be a perfect way to uh, give you folks some ideas. Um, I just used some um, plain old material. Now, I, I, this was put together in mind for a friend of mine who loves pink, and she'll be getting it for Christmas. Um, and I used a little bit of lace, and I took some tool, and I used beading to make my uh, hanger with. Just added some lace and ribbon and mulberry flowers. It probably took me a whole five minutes to make this. And it's very, you know, elegant. You could do them any type of style you wanted to, you know, for a child, uh, for someone who's, you know, certain themes, whether it's Disney, whatever, you know. Um, but like I said, maybe a quick five minutes. That's all it took. And you could use any size mulberry, I mean, I'm sorry, star foam. This little thing here was a ball. It had a light in it. You'd squeeze it and it lit up. Well, the light finally quit working. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I thought, you know, I'm going to hold on to that for something. Sure enough, I thought this would be a great way to make an ornament. Uh, I'll just glue this back down. I'll cover it. I'll use this as my top part so that way I can build around it. So that way it makes it, you know, more sphere because it's kind of flat on the bottom there. And what a great way of repurposing something that doesn't wind up in the landfill either. You know, um, and give this some new life. And if I didn't even want to cover it, I could leave it just like this. Okay. Uh, repair all that. And then, you know, do something real cutesy tootsie with it. So, I have no idea where I even got this. Probably some kid left in here. <laughs> so, uh, and then who doesn't have, you know, their mulberry flowers on hand. You could use jingle bells. Any kind of stuff. Uh, this was on a gift. So I saved it, and then I can reuse this, you know. And these pieces, I saved them. They were on another gift or a package or something that I got. And I thought, hey, I can repurpose that. And, of course, star foam balls, you can get those at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, great place to buy stuff for pennies. And just, you know, use them with things that you already have on hand. Um, got this for a dollar. It was on sale uh, at good old Hobby Lobby, of course. So another great thing to do is when they have your these spools on sale for a buck, stockpile. Yes, most definitely. Got these at a yard sale. Okay. And, uh, you know, great place to buy stuff at a yard sale for crafts. Somebody's always trying to unload stuff. So be sure to check your yard sales. This was just some that had left over from a uh, another project that I had covered years ago. I've had this for a long time. It's just some crushed velvet. And that's a green. Wouldn't that make a beautiful little Christmas ornament? And another thing that you could do to make these fun little ornaments is, say your kids are all grown and you've got a junk drawer full of them big old rubber balls that they always got out of the candy machines. I thought that would be another great way to make an awesome ornament like this, you know. And that way you get rid of all them silly little bouncy rubber balls, right? 
out of your junk drawers that the kids had when they were little that you spent a gazillion quarters on. Hey, why not, right? Okay. Awesome. So that's another little fun idea. Great way to use Christmas on a dime. Now, <clears throat> this other little project. Now, I do these every year. Uh, in fact, the family has got to where they expect it. Uh, and I have shared this project before, but I want to share this little idea again because it's a great way to also refurbish an item so that way it doesn't get tossed. And that is save your jelly jars, save your pickle jars, all that kind of stuff. And create yourself a little jar. And I do Christmas cocoa every year and give to the family. And um, this one's a little bit smaller. It really, you could probably only do like a one cup kind of thing, you know. Um, again, you don't even have to use holiday material, okay? Save your denim jeans and um, there's a lot you can do with that denim. It doesn't have to just be this. You can do a gazillion things with it. But I think these just make nice little Christmas gifts for your friends, for family, um, for your neighbors especially. And if you've got someone in the family who, like me, does not need anything. Um, but yet you still want to give them a little something, you know. I mean, what a great thing to give them. Something made from the heart, you know. Um, I just put a jingle bell on here. I put some raffia because I like that uh, primitive Christmassy look kind of thing. And then I just put some holly berries and some crystal and a jingle bell. And if you don't have all this stuff, you can get uh, a thing of jingle bells at the Dollar uh, General for almost nothing. And, you know, just toss some jingle bells around there. You can use, like I said, the raffia, ribbons, whatever. Save the old denim. Uh, I sometimes like to cut these in squares, too. So then I just got four little points on either side. Uh, you could even do two layers if you wanted to. And do like a lace underneath. Just cut it a little larger than your outside one. That's all you have to do. And I tell you what, in the description box below, uh, after the lineup for the YouTube Hop, I will share with you all my Christmas cocoa recipe. So then that way you can make your own little jars and give some Christmas cocoa fun to family members. And um, I like to also, when I do them, I'll put them like in a gift bag with this. And I'll take a cellophane, cell, cellophane bag and fill it with marshmallows. And then I like to throw in a couple candy canes. And I just put them all in a little gift bag. So that makes a nice little fun way to give your gifts. A simple gift and a very inexpensive gift because you're already saving your jars throughout the year and there you go fun little easy I've shared this before I love sharing this because you know a little something from my house to yours so that way you can share with others too all right everyone thanks so much the lineup is down below and um, thanks again for joining us for another lovely Christmas on a Dime YouTube hop. And again, thanks to Dee for letting me be a part of it. All right, everyone. Have a happy holiday and a very Merry Christmas and a fabulous New Year. And again, thanks for joining us. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.